What up, dude? And welcome to the Boss Up Ball Out Podcast, your home for organic debate about Detroit Lions news and rumors. It's your man, Curtis Steele. Today, we give our final game predictions for the Lions and Titans on Sunday. But please do us a quick favor. Like the video, share the video, and comment on the video. All these things help us get this content to more Detroit Lions fans just like yourself. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please subscribe. We're on our way to two excuse me, 2,500 subscribers, and we're currently at 2,447. Now it's time to bring in my co-host, man. Ah, coming off a very singing loss last night, man, but yeah. he's, he's still upbeat, man, because he's still going to coach your kids. He's still going to cook you a meal. He's still yeah. going to run your fade. It's my man who? You ever been ran through and you can't do nothing about it? Coach Mike Jones is going on <laughs> last time. All right, man, and then y'all know who it is. It's Big Huggy. Yak Town's finest man. He is your auntie's favorite Lions content creator. LL Cool Twins. What's going on, my guy? I like that one. And to answer Coach Mike's question, no, I have not. Yeah, no. Nah. But <laughs> anyways, <laughs> not like that. But anyways, man, uh, if it's your first time to this channel, oh, man, definitely. this is how our show works. <laughs> we look at Lions news, headlines, or takes. If we agree, we say they are bossed up. If we disagree, we say they are bought on. And we give our reasons, our takes, why we agree or disagree. No hot takes here. Just natural debate. And our true thoughts and opinions about what's happening with our favorite team, the Detroit Lions. But before our game prediction show, we just really give you the information so you can make some informed decisions on who you think will win and why. So here are our topics for today's show. We're going to look at game designations, the betting information, and you know, we're going to end the show with a couple keys to victory and score predictions. All right. So, really simple for the Lions on their injury report. Let's look at what's going on. Um, Christian Mahogany is still ruled out. He is at the end of his 21-day um, activation window. So, they have, a, I think they have a couple days to make that decision. So, he's out with the illness still. Uh, Josh Pascal, he's out with an illness now, Pascal had something pop up when he went for his checkup with his uh, cancer doctor. Uh, mm. He said his cancer is not back. Uh, he still is in, he's still in remission. Um, but he needed some treatment. So, And they plan to be back next week for the Packers game. So this okay. is out of, these are words from his own mouth. There are no other lines with any other game designation. So nobody else is questionable anything. So going in pretty healthy um, besides, of course, the guys that are on IR. All right, going over to the Titans, man. I mean, I said this the other day. I, I don't know if these Negroes, I don't know if these mm -hmm. mugs over here is tanking. Because look at their <laughs> look at that injury report, man. I, I, I don't know about this, man. They they just traded away their best best wide receiver. Mm -hmm. I think they're just giving up on the season right now. I think they're trying to get it. I try to get they trying to get it some draft picks or something, man. But look at their injury report. I'm like, good lord. Now, starting right tackle Jalen Duncan is out with a hamstring injury, along with starting cornerback Janarius the Jerry Sneed, uh, with an injured quad. Backup linebacker Cedric Gray uh, is out with a bad shoulder. Now, starting quarterback Will Levis, uh, the Mayo man himself, is listed as questionable with a shoulder mm -hmm. injury, and his status is up in the air. I don't think he's going to play. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions are facing Mason Rudolph once, you know, I just think that that's what's going to happen. I, reports out of Tennessee is that he's not going to be playing in this game. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's just it is. And then um, Sunday, uh, and then they have uh, on Sunday, uh, quarterback also questionable is uh, linebacker Jerome Baker, cornerback Jar Jarvis Brownlee, uh, Tajay Spears, and Chervondary Sweat are also questionable for the game against the Lions. I mean, the Lions are coming in pretty healthy, and the Titans are coming in pretty banged up. So, um, I don't. I mean, there's really not really that, not to say. I mean, the only thing really that's troubling is that we're already down on a lot of, you know, pass rushers and, you know, have being down one more. Um, but, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the Lions, we ain't, what, what we going to whine? We ain't going to whine about it. We're going to line up and play. So what do, you, what do you guys think about what's going on with the Lions on the in injury front? I mean, right now, I'm not too worried about it because Tennessee is not that good of a team, and a lot of their players are on the injury report. So um, 
you know, they're in a spot where we were uh, a couple seasons ago, the first year of Dan Campbell and um, Aaron Glenn and, and those boys, man. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it, man, because basically they just got a bunch of third-string practice squad players, and so they're going to play a few of our third-string practice squad players, and we're just going to see what it is. So, yeah. I'm, I'm good with it. All right. What you got, L.L.? Yeah. Um, reasonably healthy. The, you know, game plan is get out healthy. That's, you know, that's all I, you know, really yeah. want to do. I, I like that we healthy, but let's get out healthy as well, man, because, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and I, I'm, I'm wearing my, my blue uh, home Amara jersey because the Lions are wearing blueberries on Sunday. You know, they're doing that uh, monochromatic, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Wolf Alliance in the building, you know, in the Hey Kool-Aid LL shirt today. But um, Kool-Aid, man. Yeah, man. Like the video. Share the video. Comment on the video. All the things help us get this content to more Detroit Lions fans just like yourself. Now, of course, man, I know y'all going to put some money on this thing, man. But if you betting on the Lions, boy, you got to bet a lot of cheese to win some bread on the Lions because uh, – the Lions are twelve point home favorites. That is absolutely mm. ridiculous, man. That's almost two touchdowns. I mean, uh, the money line is plus four hundred and seventy five for the Titans and minus seven fifty for the Lions. That means if you bet a hundred dollars straight up on the Titans to win, and they do, uh, you want four hundred seventy five dollars for a total purse of five hundred seventy five dollars. If you want the Lions to win, just to win a hundred dollars, you got to bet seven fifty. <laughs> for a total purse of a fifty, that is absolute. You, uh, everybody's betting the underdog on this because you really it really doesn't make any sense to bet on alliance. This with the no. score being that big, you, you don't want to do that. You want to make some. You want to look at something else, man. Uh, bet the over under. The over under right now is forty four and a half, and it's one ten for the over and under. So they're thinking that the lines are going to win and cover. That's just, that's just mm. what it is right now. Uh, the last time the Lions were favored by 12 points in a game was September 29th, 1996, in a game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's like almost 30 years. All right, here's some prop bets for you. So if you don't, you didn't really want to make the straight up bets on the game, uh, David Montgomery has a prop bet of the over under is 12 and a half rushing uh, attempts. I will take the over on that one. Amon Ross St. Brown over under six and a half receptions. Take the over on that. Jameer Gibbs. Over under is 64 and a half yards rushing, and they're saying to take the under. I don't think he's gonna go under that, but you know, we'll see. Um, and I believe like the reason why that it is that way, as far as for Jameer Gibbs, is that the Titans have the number one overall like total defense as far as like yards giving up yards, mm -hmm. but they're 21st in scoring. Uh, and the I would say the reason one of the reasons being for that stat is that they cough the ball up a lot. They're like thirty first mm -hmm. in the league in turnovers, right? Like, so you don't have to you don't have to get a lot of yards on them because you're already on a short field because they coughing up the ball so damn much. So you right. don't have to you don't have to have a lot of yards because to be to be first in total defense, but you're twenty first in scoring. That just don't marry up, right? <laughs> so I mean, something that ain't working with that. So. uh I would say, uh, I mean, I, I mean, that's a good. I mean, you, he doesn't have to have a lot of yards in this I game. I thought, I thought it might also be because maybe we're not going to use him a whole lot. Like it ain't going to be, you know, maybe he'll get like fifty or something. But you know, the game would be long over with by then, and so uh, Baki and Craig Reynolds will be in there by then. Maybe Man. that's that's what I'm thinking. Maybe yeah, that could, could be. yeah, it could be. But you, you look at this game, and it's like, um, like. It doesn't matter who's quarterbacking for them. Either they're gonna throw an interception, or they're gonna fumble. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, they just they turn the ball over at an alarming rate, and it's only you know they have they have like twice as many turnovers as, as the Lions have right now, and it's you know, it is what it is. So, mm. uh, if you're a betting man, because because uh, I'm gonna look at let Coach Jones because he you know he he makes some prop bets and all the other stuff in sports books. Wh which which over would you take? Um, actually, I'm going over the 11. I you're going think the over Lions, the, the 12 points? you going yeah, to take the over? Points, yeah, I think the Lions are going to actually win by about 17. 
So, okay. um, yeah, I'm taking that, man. Um, I'm not, I'm not like a, just because of where the game might be, taking them prop bets might not be safe. Uh, just because, you know, um, Ben Johnson was already talking about, Dan Campbell was already talking about getting, um, a Rob in there and Tim Patrick in there. And they, you know, they're kind of trying to work out a few wrinkles in the offense. And um, I think that might mess with a little bit of them prop numbers where they might go through in the third, fourth quarter and get those numbers. They might kind of step off the gas with them and, and let some other guys get on the field. And, you know, and and so I, I wouldn't take those prop bets. So that's just me. I'm going to take the over on the, uh, on the minus 12. So you you have it on the cover, uh, taking the over on the uh, minus yep. twelve on the Lions, and you're taking the you're taking the over on the score too, forty four and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, I am. Which, oh yeah, I'm taking way over because I I just like I just like going back with the high scoring game. I'm always gonna take the over. All right. Oh, what you got, LL? You taking the you taking the over? Uh, no, I would probably take the under. You taking the under, but you taking the Lions to cover? Um, yep. Okay. Taking the odds cover by 12. Okay. All right. Hey, you know, we got to give you the, you know, the proper information right here. What we think Um, for me, I would definitely take the, um, I would take the, I would take the over uh, slightly. I mean, like probably like one, I think it's going to be like 45 points or something like that. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. looking at the game, I'm definitely picking the lines to cover. Uh, So yeah, I'm picking the lines to cover. So I think it's one of those games where it's going to be the Lions are going to the Lions are going to win big and they're going to cover and it's going to be one of those things where um, Vegas is not they're not they're not going to make a lot of money on this game <laughs> it's just it's because you know Tennessee is not going to win and all the all the because this isn't a really game that you really want to bet on you know what I'm saying like it's not a really like big betting game you know right. it's you know because you look at it. The over under is the same, like it's even, like they're picking the Lions to blow them out. So, right, uh, it is what it is. So, all right, um, make sure you go and check out Lions Day Unite, man. The Brit Regret, my man Anthony from uh, Royal Lions UK, he got a, a new video mm, out over Brit there. Looking, with grit. yeah, a new video out, <laughs> <over> there. He, <laughs> you know, he, he hangs out, he hangs out here. Uh, he was here on Tuesday hanging out with me, uh, um, uh yeah, talking I watched about. Some of y'all. Yeah, so you know that's my dude. Go check him out. He got a new video over there on Live Station. Not so check they it out. Eat, man. They eat grits over there. Uh, no, I think it's like they, they call it porridge, man. It's like oatmeal or something like that. I don't. Know, I mean, I know they put be- I know they put beans on stuff for breakfast. I don't. Eat yeah, them. they were like, yeah, they 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 eat breakfast is wild, man. It's like eat a whole some bacon. Bunch of, it's like a whole bunch of little like a whole bunch of little things like on the same plate. Like it don't like it go together in America. Yeah, so. anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but hey, all right, now it's time to look at uh keys to victory. Um, I gave my keys to victory the other day. Um, so I'm gonna go to offense first. I'm gonna go to LL. What you got, my man? Um, keys to victory, man. Uh main thing, uh get the game over with, man. I would like us to keep the ball on the ground. And there, but one thing I will say, every time I think about this game, for some reason I think it's in Tennessee and it's not. But, um, you know, just still, man, you know, keep uh, stick to whatever the game plan is going to be. Probably going to be on the ground. I will hope I don't think we need to throw the ball a whole lot because, you know, once you do that, um, even though Tennessee is a, you know, isn't a very uh, competitive team right now, um, you know, they might surprise us. You know, you do too many things. You try to, you know, try to do too much, try to be too cute. It can, it will probably always backfire on you. And with this team, uh, it seems like it does. You know, well, we saw that with Tampa Bay this year as for a prime example. In other cases, you know, we I feel like uh, at some point in most of the games this year, we've said, Ben Johnson, you're being too cute, cuz. So let's not be too cute. Right. Let's, uh, you know, stick to what it is. Let's, uh, you know, be like our homie, the Brit, uh, the Brit with the grit. Let's, you know, be, be gritty, man. Run that mug. Um, get it with some play action. I know we're missing uh, J Mo, so that's why we should run it even more. You know, we, but we got, we got all the weapons, man. We already know what we can do. Ain't no need to uh, play with your food, man. Just get in, get out, right. stay healthy. All right, what you got, Coach Jones? Um, I feel you on that, LL. But the question I got to ask is, where in the world has Sam Laporta been at? And um, mm, I know, you I know he did. I know he did <laughs> score that touchdown last game. But um, I just want to see Sam Laporta inserted a little bit more into the offense. 
Um, so I do want them to keep ground and pound. I know they're probably going to, you know, experiment with, with a little bit of Tim Patrick at that wide receiver, too, and bring in a little bit of A-Rob and all of that, man. I do hope they do keep the numbers, you know, 55-45 run pass, but get Sam LaPorta involved. Like, not just a little trick play or nothing to get him and, you know, kind of stretching the field, get him in a couple of a hot routes, get him in some little dig routes, some little slant routes, you know what I'm saying? Just get, them, get him involved in the game plan more and more, more and more. So teams got a plan for him, and then we can – then our offense is at full. We don't full go then. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah, hey, uh, this reminder, my, mine was uh, – one of mine was start fast and just finish the game. You know what I'm saying? Just get yeah. that, get a big lead and just – just don't leave. Coast what, it. Yeah, what is the uh, Herman on um, – what did he – remember Titans? Leave no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, don't play with your food. Just go in there and just run them out the stadium. All right, so defense, what you got? Um, I'm going to go coach to the defense. He's the first uh, defensive coach anyway. So what you got, Coach Jones? Yeah, um, find out how to create the D-line pressure. We got to figure it out because I don't feel comfortable with our linebackers or our secondary blitzing all the time like that because then that leaves us exposed in the secondary. Um, so we got to find a way. Now we're in another guy down, Pasco down. We got to find a way, though, to create pressure with that front four. And um, a trade is on the horizon, so um, help is coming. But we have to. We have to find the right players. And I know they're doing the due diligence, bringing guys up from the practice squad, and activating them. So hopefully they find at least one guy who, who got that motor uh, who will keep it going. But, yeah, we got we to gotta create pressure with that front four, man. Getting Mason Rudolph. If we let Mason Rudolph. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> if we let Mason Rudolph sit there and pick up the part, I'm going to be up at Ford Field or I'm going to be at Allen Park looking for somebody. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, you're going to be, like, be looking for somebody. You're going to see Brad Holmes. And, or you're going to see your friend Jared Goff and forget everything that you was mad about. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but I got well, I, my, my defensive keys. My, uh, my defensive keys with um, – oh, hush. But <laughs> my <laughs> defensive keys – to victory. Um, yeah, man, attack that offensive line, man. They hurt. You know what I'm saying? I know we, we don't got a lot uh, going on our side either. We are hurt. But use what we do have. Now, you said we don't you don't necessarily want to see them blitzing. You know, maybe in there, you know, since uh, with the circumstances, we won't have to blitz as much. You know, maybe we can create some pressure with the guys that we could just send off rip and, you know, do things uh, naturally behind it. You know, linebackers doing linebacker stuff and, you know, uh, corners covering and safeties, uh, you know, doing whatever that they're asked to do, um, either down and, and boxing back in coverage, you know, with them two. Uh, with the, we got to figure out a new uh, a safety uh, nickname for them if they don't already got one out there. But, um, yeah, you know, just uh, attack. Um, same thing, kind of like uh, I'm, I'm going to take it um, the reverse of what Kurt said on offense. I mean, same thing on offense, but on defense, you know, attack, you know, get, um, help to get the big lead and then just, you know, keep the big lead. You know, don't let them, uh, don't let them shake loose on stuff, tackle. Um, you know, keep your principles, do all the, the, the easy thing or the simple things simple and get out of there, man. That's the main point to everything that I want to say. Get in, get out healthy, man. Just, you know. Yeah, all definitely. Right. Uh, for me, uh, I, I said on defense, um, this is a reminder, one of mine is they turn the ball over. So keep creating turnovers. You know what I'm saying? We're one of the best teams in the league right now. Uh, I think we're top 10 at turnover. So um, so we're, we're one of the best teams that's keeping the keeping the ball. So we don't give it away that much, and we we're creating turnovers. So you know what them boys, uh, Johnny V. He's one of our viewers, man. I, I mentioned yesterday. He said he called them the Prowlers back there. So you know yeah, that okay, that's his okay. that's his name. Well, he, I, like told with, you, um, I told you, snatch and grab, man. Snatch, snatch and grab. grab. That's, 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 I like it. I like it. I made that I up. And, 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 I don't yeah, know if you get um, my little bit of um, you know, what I'm saying glory. If they do take that nickname, snatch yeah. and grab. I like it. I don't know if you uh, remember um, Beans and uh, and Scarface was supposed to do a, a something, and uh, it was rumored because one of the songs they come out, they'd be saying "Smash and Scrape," so that was supposed mm -hmm. to be their nickname. So I know it ain't the same, yeah. but you know, just tying it in, yeah. Beans and Beans and Scarface was with some dogs, so you know we got some dogs, Curb and uh, yeah. and, and Brian. And uh, on the uh, on the St. Brown podcast, he, he said that the whole I guess the whole secondary they called us the Fifty Boys. That's what they they call themselves, the BMF. So, uh, but you know, and then shout out to Big Meats, you know what I'm saying? If y'all, if you, if Welcome you know home. who he is, 
You know what I'm saying? Meach is back in the building. Big so, you Meach. Know. Yeah. Larry Hoover. Yeah. Mm. So, oh, hey, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, man. Hey, enjoy your day of sports today. Uh, big game. You know, it's the robbery boys. game today, man. Michigan, Michigan State tonight, 730 on Big Ten Network. So go check that out. Um, definitely, uh, we're Go Blue on this channel. You know what I'm saying? But you root for who you want to root for. But, you know. Paul Bunyan, you know what I'm saying? It's the Paul Bunyan game, so, you know, get this thing going. Um, but thank you for starting your Saturday off with us, man. Enjoy the game tomorrow, 1 o'clock at Four Field. Uh, so it's going to be a, a good thing. I think the Lions are not taking this game lightly. Don't – it's a trap game. So don't overlook these cats. Go in there and handle your business, Lions, and everything is going to be okay. Do us a quick favor. If you don't already – Make sure you follow us on your favorite social media platforms. My man, Coach Jones, he be doing his thing over there on Wolverine Sports Talk, man. Got some great shorts over there. I post content from this channel on all of my social media platforms. And, of course, LL, man. Whew. It was a special mm. edition of Thirsty Thursdays this week. Appreciate you, brother, for holding it down. You know how you get down on Thursdays, man. <laughs> okay. Now it's time for Party Shots for today's show. All right, I'm going to let my man LL go first, man, because, you know, he is the uh, originator of the Thursday Thursday. So you got up first, man. What you got? You know, Kurt, I was going, I was about to have your back because, you know, the info that's up there is not necessarily the pages that I'm on all the time. Those are the pages that I'm trying to build up. I haven't put any things on there. So my high media is coming real soon as soon as I can get myself a little less poor. And that's when you'll see things like this and, you know, some other content hopefully um you know doing some things with, with my brothers here as well kurt and coach mike but i'm not going to say where about where to find me at because kurt you be doing that man and i'll be doing that <laughs> every time i swear it's, it was funny and of course all of these is jokes but i just remember that message because it's like we're thirsty thursday like <laughs> man that's funny but yeah happy saturday man if you follow me on social media man if you follow me on instagram you probably gonna pick up LFT because <laughs> it's, it's content right <laughs> It just you may know. All right, what you got, Coach Jones? I'm nervous right now. And the reason why I say I'm nervous is because Michigan plays Michigan State tonight. Um, and I'm nervous. And I'm nervous because we have had a carousel at quarterback. We went from Davis Warren to Alex Orgy to Jack Tuttle, and we don't know. And I'm 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 techn I'm pissed at War Manuel because you had all this time to prepare for this to get you a quarterback to get you a, a head coach to do all of this and you ain't did it man and um you went with the safe route and now this is the outcome that we have that we're witnessing right now is what happens when you go to safe route and you don't want to spend no money uh when you the top five richest program in the history of the world. So, um, and another fact that um, somebody stated, man, is that no first-year head coach has ever beat Michigan State. Um, that's not good. They're going to win today. And I hope so because I'm nervous. And um, I just hope that, you know, we come out on top, probably let Jack Tuttle start mixing some out orgy. I don't know what you do. I know it's winning the damn game. Go blue. If you're scared, go to church, yeah, Coach definitely. Mike. definitely. Definitely. Um, I don't want to. You know, I will say this to all of my all of my fellow Michigan fans, man. You know, we had a lot of super seniors the last couple of years. You know, guys that stay extra years. Of course, they got the extra time for for COVID and everything like that. So that that time is over. And sometimes you're just gonna. It ain't the same when you when you you have a big championship win. You have all those guys, all those guys in the pros now. We're gonna be a right. quarterback. They had a quarterback. Yeah. Everything. We, Talking yeah. differently about this team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Manuel don't want to yeah. spend no money, man. It's, 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 yeah. spending yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, and they still lost. Anyway, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Thank you for starting your Saturday off with us right here on the Boston Ball Out Podcast, your home for again debate about Detroit Lions news and rumors. Man, hey, enjoy your Saturday. Eat some Captain Crunch, you know what I'm saying? Eat a little bit of uh, a tricks or whatever cereal you like on a Saturday morning, man. Go back to the old school. Watch some cartoons. Watch some tricks now. Lucky yeah, charms. man. Uh, it's lucky Charms, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're doing your sports, man, eat some Wheaties. You know what I'm saying? You don't ever know how that get down, man. But do your man. Pour some sugar on it. Yeah, man. Whatever you're doing, life, you got to boss up. 
ball out and be the best version of you that you can be. For my fellas, LL Cool Torrance and Coach Mike Jones, this is Kurt Steele, and we will holla at you real soon. Yeah.